Today we are going to be learning chapter 9 some applications of trigonometry exercise 9.1 first question all right now let's read the question a circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground find the height of the pole if the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree perfect so now we are going to read the question line by line and we are going to draw a figure okay all right so there is a circus artist he is climbing on a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground all right so now let us draw a vertical pole vertical means straight like this okay so we say this line is vertical okay so let us take it as vertical pole okay so this is a pole perfect so now let us draw the ground level as well all right so there is a rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole okay so this is the top of a pole isn't it so from this top of the pole there is a rope okay so now let us draw a rope which is tightly stretched like this okay so this is the rope one second i'll write that so this is the rope perfect so now let us name this figure that is a b and c all right so now this is 90 90 degrees isn't it why because here we have right angle right so it is 90 degree okay so and then let's read further find the height of the pole so we are supposed to find the height of the pole okay if the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree so here this is the rope isn't it so the angle made by the rope is 30 degree okay so here it is 30 degree perfect so now we know the figure so we can actually find the height of the pole okay and one more thing i would like to say is uh, the rope is about 20 meter long okay so 20 meter long perfect okay guys so here we are supposed to find the height of the pole okay all right so here the ac is equal to 20 meter and a b so a b let us take it as h okay what is the meaning of h h means height perfect so according to the question we are supposed to find the height of the pole isn't it okay so and then we have a value that is 20 meter okay so since you guys know this is 90 degree so opposite to 90 degree is known as hypotenuse okay so here i am going to take hypotenuse and this side that is the height of the pole okay so here according to angle 30 degree this is the opposite side isn't it so this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse so i am going to take in triangle a b c okay so now i am going to take ang sine 30 degree okay all right so the opposite side for 30 degree is this one that is the height of the pole and the hypotenuse is this one that is ac okay that's why i just took sine 30 degree is equal to so opposite side is ab divided by and hypotenuse is ac perfect so now let us substitute the sine 30 degree value according to trigonometric table so what is the sine 30 degree value so the value is 1 by 2 is equal to and a b value is so here i just took it as h so h divided by a c value is 20 meter so 20 okay so now we can do cross multiply so when we do cross multiply we'll get 2 h is equal to 20 perfect so now h is equal to 20 so here it is 2 into h isn't it when it comes to the side it changes into division perfect now we can cancel it 1 2 is 2 and 1 2 is 2 
and 0. So, what is the h value? So, h is equal to 10. So, here the dimension it is meter. So, let us write meter. All right. So, this is going to be the height of the pole. Okay. So, according to the question we are supposed to find the height of the pole. I just found it.